Um, this is Margaret Ann Windsor. I meant to put this on the other tape, and I didn't get it. So if anybody's interested, they can go back. I told about my kidnapping uh, from Buckingham Palace in 41, numerous times I have. And my Uncle George, uh, who became the illegal George the Sixth, met with Roosevelt the year I was born in 39, and I was kidnapped in 41. My dad, the real King Edward VIII, was married to uh, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, uh, an American, Catholic, uh, or was Catholic. And um, so she was considered a commoner, and they used that. The Windsor, some of my own family, and the New World Order, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, the ones that are in power and control everything, and Elizabeth and Charles are members. Now then, he's illegal. I've put that before William, and that all looks good. Uh, he named his baby George after his uh, great granddad that actually helped kidnap me and take down his own brother and give the British Empire away. So here they are. That looks lovely. And I'm going to show you if you've had a bad hair today from being poisoned uh, with gas fumes over and over and over and try to tell about it. And there's nowhere to go with it. Be, um, if the law doesn't work for you, and people aren't afraid of being locked up, you'd be shocked to see what they do. Now, here's a bad hair day because this has been going on. I had, I have really had a lot of hair all my life. The chemicals being soaked in them, it's easy to do. You put it, you get to the maintenance guy or management and you have it pre-done, or you don't even have it pre-done. Uh, they can come in and fix your air conditioning unit real easy to pump out, whether it's on or off, to pump out deadly fumes, okay? And that's what it is to me. I'm allergic to chemicals. I have an immune disorder. Uh, my immune attacks itself when I'm around chemicals I'm allergic to. And it can kill you. It's a horrible thing. It tears your liver, your lungs, etc. up. I can hardly get around. Um, but it's why I've been here, uh, and I've had to stay because over the years, if I leave, uh, they just said, up camp and get me there. And I keep quoting Carl Barton, the um, retired Virginia State Trooper back in '09, when his wife um, took me, Linda took me to uh, Affordable Corporate Suites off Starkey Road in Roanoke and paid the deposit. And I paid 17 more months of hell of soaking up fumes and breathing and begging and pleading. But she told me when she turned to leave, uh, she said, that's how we run you, make you move, is by using chemicals. Well, I already knew that. But as I've put before, they've made my word no good. They've made me sound like this bad nut lady and all this. I've done nothing but tell the truth. I'm the one person that did tell the truth in all this. And um, it's shocking what people will do. Part of them, a lot of them think it's fun that they can kidnap the monarch. And I want to say this. I'm Victoria the Second, the legal heir. Um, you got the Kennedys. Uh, the, uh, John John Jr. had the magazine, George Magazine, where really he was punning the British. And, you know, you got to make King George bad. you got to make my dad bad. And of course, it was lies. He wasn't even married to Wallace Warfield. That's the biggest lie an imposter was married to, used to marry her. So anyway, and this I'll show it again and hope I don't run out of video space. Uh, so you got to, and look at me. If you saw me and you did a background check, I can't even use my own name. Uh, they've done things to me in plain sight with people knowing it that is the shocking part. So uh, you try to make somebody bad. I want to say, though, that, and this really happened. When I'm on the Appalachian Trail, and this is, I believe, early 39, it was just prior, I mean, not 39, excuse me, 93, I came up here to Roanoke in uh, 86, October. I froze. I had my jobs locked, uh, shut down, uh, places to stay. Oh, uh, I froze. I did it. I starved, and everybody knowing it. And they would say we were told not to help you. And then they they would say they're afraid of repercussions. It's happening to me. It might happen to them if they help me. 
So it's shocking what people have their reaction is when they can get away uh, with something. But um, John John Kennedy, I looked down the old trail off Mountain Pass Road, and this, I think, would have been 93 or early 94 in the spring. After I'd spent a winter up there, and you should see how cold it gets in a lean-to hiker's uh, shack. Uh, right on top of the mountain with the freezing cold, oh, me, iced over, you name it, trees you're afraid are going to fall on you. Um, just to have a place to crawl into and not be on the side of the road. And uh, So I looked up, coming up the trail, it was still the old trail. They hadn't built the new one. And I looked at him, and uh, it's about a mile and a half up, and I said, well, you look like John John Kennedy. And he says, I am John John Kennedy. And he had the buddy that he ran around with back then. So uh, you know, I thought he was kidding. I knew he looked like him, but I thought, no, nah, this not. But anyway, I'll say this. I started telling him, I said, well, if you are John John Kennedy, your dad helped kidnap me. And he said, well, I came up here to see how you were living, and he kind of laughed. And uh, he stood there and talked to me a few minutes. And they had actually gotten on a plane, I guess from Boston, I don't know where, and flown to Roanoke, had backpacks on, and came out to um, the trail there and walked up specifically to uh, Full Heart Knob up the trail a mile and a half just to see how I was living and starving, what they had done to the monarch, me. Uh, if this happened to any other world leader or anyone that's American, there would be such an aftermath of media would cover it. It would be such hell to pay. And yet it's really been a joke to most of these people here, what they've done to me. So I want to, uh, I wanted to show... Uh, they made the movie. That's what really gets me to the monument, Clooney. And then you've got Tom Hanks and, and all of this talking about how brave the Americans are. Uh, and here they talk about, and I don't have the other sheets, but here they're talking about the Germans uh, stolen art. Let me remind you that my mother is uh, Georgia O'Keeffe, the artist, her sister. That's my aunt. I have to say that because you never heard of my mom that married the King of England, the real uh, uh, Queen Mom. Okay, you won't see me there, but here's what I want to say. They made all these movies, and you know, nobody's ever talked about me other than to handcuff me, put antifreeze in me, do everything in the book to me and my son. And they're talking about how terrible it is that the Nazis stole art, um, the Germans stole art. Evidently, it's terrible to take some art, but it's okay to kidnap and torture and take down a monarch that the reason they took him down was because he was a great man. They had to use lies to do it. They have done nothing but 75 years but uh, torture me and my sons wherever they are. I hope they're alive. Now, I want to finish with this. So um, it's okay to kidnap me and have fun. Uh, doing it and torture me, but hey, don't um, steal any art. And then you get back to my aunt, George O'Keefe, an artist. So uh, that right there tells you a lot. I want to show you this, though. This is my mom, Claudia O'Keefe. Here's Georgia. And it's, um, this is my grandparents, which you haven't heard of either, have you? Um, yeah, then, this is Ireland, or the O'Keeffe's, which, hey, I'm from Northern Ireland. I want to get that in now. That's part of the British. Uh, my, it doesn't say that my mom's not the greatest lady there ever was, so there you go, just like my father's the greatest man. Um, but anyway, this is my genealogy sheet. And you won't see me on that. You won't see the marriage to King Edward VIII. What you'll see is um, that my father was supposed to have abdicated and married um, Wallace Simpson, which was a total lie. Uh, and so then you get, instead of seeing about me or my mom or 
about my real father's marriage and child and uh, me being the monarch. Uh, 